let's throw some jabs. The fight starts now! Sergio Usyk is a favorite going into this fight. Does it surprise you? No way. I mean, Usyk controlled their first fight and it was an upset. Now we know what to expect with Usyk. He's going to bulk up. He's going to look bigger. He already knows the power. He already knows the timing to engage the distance of the bigger man in Joshua. So no, I'm not surprised at all. Usyk already felt what he's in for and he, he already passed the test the first time. So no, he should be favored. Yeah, I think he should be the favorite as well. I think he should be a big favorite in this one. I'm going into this fight, Sergio, thinking Anthony Joshua could be in a lot of trouble. Not just because Usyk, in now his fourth fight at heavyweight, after looking great in his third fight at heavyweight, is going to be better, stronger, more prepared, but I just don't know what to expect from Anthony Joshua. Um, he's bringing in all these new people. He replaces Rob McCracken, first with Angel Fernandez, and now with Robert Garcia. And I keep hearing about the synergy between Robert Garcia and Angel Fernandez. They're two very different types of coaches. Robert Garcia is an offensive-oriented coach. Angel Fernandez, we don't know too much about because he's not been a head trainer to many top fighters, but he does have that Cuban background, which makes me wonder how those philosophies are going to blend in. On top of that, and you know this, Sergio, when a guy gets into a firefight or he gets into any kind of trouble, his mind's gonna go back to his original training, to the training that Rob McCracken gave him since his amateur days. So I don't know about the, the mind space or the head space that Anthony Joshua is going to be in this fight. I think Alexander Usyk deserves to be a big favorite to the point where, you know, it, it's not even so much a question to me at this point if Usyk wins, but how does he win? Can he be the second guy to stop Anthony Joshua? I, I love Robert Garcia coming into the mix. I told you that I, I would love to see uh, Joshua with a Mexican trainer get that Mexican style in. I, I, I get that. Now, Angel Fernandez, I can pretty much guess why they kept him because he's Cuban. And most Cuban amateur sensations coming out of that island are Southpaws. They train them and groom them to be Southpaws. So they're bringing in that Southpaw expert and with that Mexican style. So I, I think that's why they have that synergy or that, that chemistry that they're bringing into the table. But Anthony Joshua's gonna have to be somebody he's not. And that's what you're touching on right there. He's gonna have to be more a swift on his feet. He's gonna have to concentrate on speed more than power. He's gonna have to have upper body movement. He, he's gonna have to track down the southpaw. So when the southpaw is going to his right, you gotta sweep that left hook and aim at the chest with that right hand. When he's going that way, you gotta bang him to the right side of the body. And you gotta rough him up once you do get inside and get him against the corner. These are things that you need lower body athleticism with. We've never seen that out of Joshua. We've never seen real upper body movement out of Joshua. He's real stiff and, you know, tries to land that big right hand. So if we do see a reinvention of Joshua, it's going to surprise all of us because we've never seen it. Look, he's got the right attitude, at least as far as what he's putting out there publicly about how to win. You know, he's got to, he knows he's got to be aggressive. He's got to take the fight to Usyk, not try to outbox the boxer. I just wonder, Sergio, if he has it in him anymore. When I've talked to people close to Anthony Joshua over the years, the one thing I heard was it wasn't the Andy Ruiz fight that changed Anthony Joshua. It was the Klitschko fight. The fight where Joshua you know, had to dig deep, get off the canvas, get into a firefight with a big puncher like Vladimir Klitschko, and ultimately he got the win. But after that fight, Joshua, people have told me, said, look, I, I don't want to fight that way anymore. I don't want to be hurt like that. I don't want to be in a position like that anymore. Now, Ruiz caught him with a punch that changed the course of the fight in the third round. Uh, he put him, you know, right in the temple, changed everything, but it wasn't the same kind of firefight that Klitschko was, at least not towards the end. I think Joshua, I, I just don't know if he has it in him to, to be that kind of fighter anymore. Not after the experiences with Klitschko and with Andy Ruiz. The other part of this, Sergio, is Usyk is fighting for his country. Like this is a man not just fighting to defend multiple world titles. He's fighting for a war-torn nation. He went to the Saudis and said, I wanna buy the rights to this broadcast so I can give it to my people for free. Every picture I've seen him in, he has been wearing the blue colors of Ukraine. I, he is going to be as motivated perhaps 
as any fighter in the history of boxing going into this fight. I just don't know how Anthony Joshua overcomes all those things. Hey, it reminds you of uh, Rocky. What was it, Rocky IV, when uh, you know Rocky went and said, hey, look, instead of two uh, countries fighting, it's just two men fighting here. And, and yeah, I, I get what you're saying. He has a whole country on his shoulders. And you know, there's a lot of national pride there with every boxer, whether there's, there's war going on or not. Um, and I, I just really believe that Usyk is motivated, but he's already tasted what Joshua has to give. He already tasted that power. And Joshua, we've already seen him mentally crack. We've already, already seen him vulnerable. And when you're talking, I'm thinking about another fight. Remember Victor Ortiz when Madonna knocked him out? He was never the same. And I remember afterwards, he said on the fighter uh, interview, he said, I shouldn't be getting hit or beaten like this. Those are kind of similarities of what you see with Joshua. You know, that, that, that glimmer in his eye, that, that hunger is maybe not there or maybe never had it because he's always power punched everybody out of there. But we're going to have to see a side of Joshua that we've never seen. We kind of seen it with Andy Ruiz, but he was boxing for 12 rounds. He never sat down and actually fought the man that knocked him out. He just had to keep him off for 12 rounds. He's going to have to fight Usyk to get his championships back. All right, then before we get out of here, who wins and how? I got to go with Usyk again, and this time I think he stops Joshua. I think the overaggression of Anthony Joshua is going to fall into the pl uh, hands of Usyk. Nine, tenth round stoppage. Yeah, I agree. I think 11th round, Usyk finally wears down Anthony Joshua, and it's either a corner stoppage or the referee just waves it off because he was taking too much punishment.